Hello and welcome back to part two of our lesson seven on LCD screens using them with uh, microchip pick microcontrollers. Uh, we will be uh, going ahead and looking at the coding of these, of how we're going to make this LCD screen work, how we're going to print, basically print stuff out to the screen. So basically a quick rundown over the hardware again, bulge regulator, chip, LCD screen, got your potentiometer for the contrast, and got your five, five ohm resistor in, in for your uh, for your backlight. So picking up where we left off, let's go ahead and kick over to the code. So now in the code for this, doing just a very simple thing, you've got your LCD, this is the file that you you need, is this LCD.c. And where you'll find this, um, I'll just do a quick add file and I'll show you where you find this. Um, basically it'll be in your C drive under your program files um, and under your Pixie, and then it's going to be in drivers, will be where it's at. And it's just called lcd.c, that's where it is. And so all you do is copy it or just include it from here or whatever you want to do. But get it in, and this is a funny thing I've noticed with um, MP Labs. I don't know if they fixed it in the new version. Um, there's version, I think, 8.8 .8 now or something like that. Um, but a lot of times when you have a .c, um, a lot of times you'll put it up here in source files because you're like, well, it's, you know, it's a C source file. For some reason, uh, MP Labs sometimes won't recognize it. It won't, it won't, it, for some reason, it will give you errors, or at least the compiler. I don't know if it's really MP Labs. It might be the compiler. Um, just doesn't recognize it if it's up here. So if you put it under other files, um, then it'll recognize it and life's good and everything works great. So um, basically, let's open it up and take a look. Like I was saying before in the hardware section of this, um, it kind of tells you what pins to hook up where. And so it kind of gives you a rundown that um, you have to initialize your LCD, use the initialize statement, and then you've got your put C command that will put characters, and then you've got your uh, go to XY. Basically, you can uh, move the focus, you know, wherever, see the, the right position on the LCD. You can go up or left as 1 1. You know, so basically you can, you know, using coordinates, you know, you can position the the right cursor anywhere you want in the in the LCD, which which helps when you get to end of line, or if you're, let's say, you're um, instead of reprinting the entire screen or something, let's say you're just changing a number in the statement that's being written out. Well, you can just change that one number by moving to a certain X Y location and then just print in a single character instead of have to you know redraw the entire screen because a lot of times you want to be careful um, redrawing like the screen like putting that in a in a loop where it's constantly redrawing the screen because the screen will start to flicker you'll actually have kind of a flicker because it actually it, yeah it kind of it'll just blink because of it redrawing it so as a, it doesn't have like a high frequency refresh you know. Um, I don't know if maybe you could you could do that with maybe using an external oscillator and uh, cranking up the speed, or if you get a chip that has a higher instructions per second rate or something like that. I don't know. You you guys can play with that. Um, what I've found is that you just you know just kind of think about, it, and if you don't have to redraw the entire screen every single time, you know you can redraw one piece of it, or you know vice versa, you know, whatever, or during, put in, you know, like an if statement that maybe if something changes, then redraw the screen, but otherwise keep it the same, you know, just kind of just, you know, think about it, think about what you're doing, and uh, that way they'll avoid that from flickering or doing weird stuff, so, but that's where the, uh, the go to XY helps a lot. Um, then there's the get C um, that'll return uh, the character at the position of XY, so if you want to, you know, if like, let's say you're having a user input some stuff, and you know, through buttons or whatever, and they're changing values or something, or something's happening. You can actually grab characters from the screen and store them and whatnot. I don't, re I haven't really used this very much, um, just because most of the time, you know, if people are putting input into the system, you're printing out to the screen. You kind of already know what what it is. You can just set it in a variable by it. So I really haven't used this very much, but it's there. Um, if you scroll on down, here's where it tells you. It gives you like an example. If you had like a port D tells you where to put everything. So D0 is your enable, D1 is your RS, your 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 right, your and then you've got your D4, D5, D6, D7. And if you look back at your at our deal here, see here's your D0 to 7 is pin 7 to 14. So 7 to 14 
goes on, your, or at least your four, five, six, and seven of this will go will go here. We'll go on the on pin four, five, six. You know, your port D pin four, five, six, seven. You know, is where those will go. And then your RS and write goes to one and two, and then enable goes to zero. And if we look back at our hardware design, that's that's what we got here. So you got four, five, six, and seven. And like for example, it's 14, 13, 12, and 11, which corresponds. So and yes, that is true. These pins are not connected. It doesn't need those for this. Now the thing that you want to make sure of is, let's say you have a chip like the 8, uh, 886 that I'm using that does not have a port D or something like that on it. Well, then it has the section that says uncomment. This is normally commented out. Um, this define use port D. And what you do is, if you want to use port B, then you just take the comment out. Normally, this is you know commented out. You just take the comment out, and then then down here, basically, it runs down here to this. Uh, preprocessor if essentially and basically it checks to see if it's fine then it 